Hi everyone, it's Vicky here from Crafty Heaven and thank you very much for joining me today. And today I'm going to be showing you how I made a piano shadow frame box slash birthday card, I guess. Um, it's my granddad's birthday and he loves playing the piano, keyboard, organ and I thought I wanted to use the Paper Discovery Grand Piano die and stamp set to make this card. So, I know a lot of my followers will have the Simply Made Crafts large shadow frame and the small one and that's what I'm making to use this today. And um, I haven't done a tutorial showing you how I actually made the shadow box in this video but I will insert a video clip of me making this. Um, I can't remember if it was a live or just a tutorial. Um, if I can still find it, I'll leave that um, after the intro or one that's very similar to it. It's, you know, the same process of building this um, for whatever size that you want to do. Um, so I'll insert that before um, we actually go on and how we make the piano. So with that said, let's have a look at this. So like I said, this is for my granddad and this is a card that's going to be displayed open. So I didn't want to decorate the front. Um, so let's open this up to have a look. So we're going to open it up and here it is. So I'll have some white card here so I can have my message on there. But look how cool this is. So I've made it a 3D piano so we can, you know, it fits in that shadow box perfectly. When you die cut it out with the dies, it is actually larger than this. I've cut it down so it's able to fit in this box. And I've decorated it with the music notes. Um, and then we've got the word celebrate on here. And I used alphabet dies to spell out granddad and happy birthday. And I don't know if you can see it actually, the top part of the piano is open. So yeah, I think it's really cool. So like so, I said, I'll insert a video now on how we make the shadow box and then we'll go on to actually making the piano to go inside as well. Enjoy guys. So I cut these out, I'm gonna bring this closer so you can see. Can you see the L and the stitch lines? So we're going to go from this edge to this edge and you're just going to cut straight across and you're going to do that for all four pieces. And we're going to now fold on those score lines and I've also added adhesive to this longer tab here. I haven't added any adhesive to the smaller tab yet. Okay, so we're going to just peel off the backing on the red tape okay so you just gotta fold it over and it will all line up and then you can pull the rest off and just burnish that and just fold it backwards and forwards like that okay and then you do the same to the other three now we're going to assemble our frame. So we want to add our adhesive on the outside of our tab. And for that, I'm going to use my liquid glue. And we're going to line up this tab inside of there. And we're just going to place that down. There. And then that will fold over. So can you see they will slot together obviously you need to wait for that to dry but it will slot together like that you just got to continue doing that to the rest of them to each other like so and then our tab on this end will get joined in there like that so I'm going to glue that together okay. so this is the front where you've got your angles and then this is the back where it's just got these overlapping like that, okay? So now we need to add a piece of white card that's going to go onto the back. You could add some grey board and then some white card if you want to make it a bit more sturdier. But I'm just going to add some 
really thick white card so i'm going to cut this down to seven and three quarter inch squared and then we're just going to glue that on to the back and i could add this piece on top so I'm using the Paper Discovery Grand Piano Die and Stamp set. So when you die cut this out, you will see here, so we have these three dies that all lay on top of each other. So can you see here, this largest one and the next one down have like this cut out bit on the bottom here where the keys would sit so I die cut out that the largest one in the white the next one in black and then the next one again in black so the white one you can see I've made it smaller and I've also added the extra bit on the bottom here and to achieve that as you can see how small I went so what I did was I got a pen and a ruler so I'm just going to grab my pen and ruler here and I just lined up my ruler at the top section here and I came down to five and a half. So I just tick marked at five and a half and then I tick marked at six. Then I lined up my ruler on that five and a half inch mark and I came from the edge here and I came in one eighth of an inch, added a tick mark there, came in from this edge, one eighth of an inch in, made a tick mark there. And then I lined my ruler up on the six inch tick mark Again, from the edge here, we come in one eighth of an inch, tick mark there, and the same on this side. And then all I did was I just lined up, I just drawed up the tick marks. So I came from here, down there, to here, up there, and across. And then I cut out all this excess here. So then you can see we've still got that same design along the bottom but it just means we've made it shorter. Now for the next one down, I didn't want to do that again. So all I did was, I lined up my next layer on top and I just tick marked along where I want it to be trimmed across. So now you can see that's where I trimmed across. Then the next one, I did the same with that one. Now normally you would get the die set that have the um, keys, so I'm just going to grab it here. So what you'd normally do is you'd line this die up on this section here. So in my case it would be the black one because then it would die cut them out and it would look like that. And then when you lay this black piece on top of the white, you'll be able to see that white card through there, okay? But I didn't want to do that. I wanted to change it up. So all I did was I got a separate piece of black card, die cut that out, and then I've left just enough at the top so then I can glue that on there, like so, and then I can stick this one on top of there like that and I just thought that would be a bit easier than trying to you know work out the measurements to get that same decorative border on the you know this black piece that would go on there so I just thought that would be a bit so easier. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to glue my keys down to this white piece on there and then I'm going to glue that one on top like okay, so. so that's now added then I want to add this next layer but I want to have it so it kind of sits up a bit so it looks like that bit is open so I've got this piece of black card and this measures three and a half by one and I scored at half an inch on the one inch side so one side's going to get glued 
onto there so this bottom edge will line up with the bottom here okay so that will get glued onto there and then this will get glued onto there so then that kind of lifts that up but I actually want to add a stopper on here so then it will keep it standing up permanently. I've just made these little accordion pieces so these measure I mean you can alter the measurements of these so it's entirely up to you so these measure two and a half by one and three eighths and I've just scored at half an inch one inch one and a half and two and then I folded them into an accordion fold and I did that with two so I'm going to have one at the top here and then one at the bottom so I'm just going to add my glue on one side and just place that where I want it and just press that down just going to place another one on there okay. and then I'm going to add glue on those ones and then I'm going to just stick them down okay so that's them now stuck down and it just keeps it sat at that position so now I want to add a bit of dimension to the bottom of this piano so then it sits up slightly into the box so for that I have made some strips here so I'm just going to grab them. these four strips so I've cut four you might not necessarily need four but I thought it would be better to have more so this is eight inches by one and three quarters and along the one and three quarter inch side I've scored at one and a quarter rotate scored at one and a quarter and then on one side of the long side you score at half an inch okay so fold on those score what lines to do is on this half inch tab we just need to give that a trim so you see these two rectangles here you want to cut them off completely like so okay and then add your red liner tape to those quarter inch panels and that half inch panel and do the same for you the want others to cut out some teeth just on these quarter inch sections here so you can see i've started it here and we want to go all the way across on all the pieces so go ahead and do that then what we want to do is we want to line up this edge here with this edge here and we're just going to go along like so lining up that fold on here with this edge here and then just curve it around like so and then join them together and then just go in and just press all them down then you'd get in with your next one and you would join up the tab underneath the other one and then just go all the way around and continue until you get to the other side okay so that's now added and as you can see instead of trying to fiddle going around this area here I just went straight across and then this bit would just overhang and then I just cut another of the largest die from the set so it was this one here I cut it out in Y and then stuck that to the um, to the other side of the strips that we added and then cut off the excess so now you can see we've got the piano that stands up and we also have this where it's slightly open so then when we add this inside you can see that it will sit in there nicely 
and then we can add decorations on the top of piano around it but before we add that I've printed this beautiful paper and I'll link it down below it's a free download and I just thought it was really nice so I'm going to have one on the back here and also all four sides so this piece measures six and one eighth of an inch squared so that's going to go into the back there. then I've got four pieces that measure two and one eighth by six and one eighth two go at the top and bottom and then two at the sides so I'm going to get them stuck down so I've gone ahead and decorated it now so on the front of the box I've just added some black and white card just to finish that off I'm just going to wrap some ribbon around it to keep it closed um, because I didn't think there was any point decorating this because it's a card that's going to be on display open so inside this is what it looks like all decorated and I think it's turned out fabulous and oh, it looks so cool and then I'm going to add a piece of white card here so then I can have my message on there and to decorate it I used made to surprise all the sentiment stamp and die set for the celebrate die here we have made to surprise sentiments a5 stamp set for the happy birthday and paper discovery elegant nursery alphabet and bunting die set for the alphabets to spell out grandad and then obviously i've just decorated it with the musical pieces from the uh, die set that we made the piano with and yeah I think it's turned out really cool so I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and give it a go so if you enjoyed this video please give me a big thumbs up please continue to support my channel by hitting that subscribe button and always as always guys if any of these products are still in stock I will link them down below but I know people like inspiration um, using the products um, because a lot of people will have these dies and stamps anyway so you know I don't want to just do videos for products that are in stock because that's not fair so anyway have a great day and I will see you all soon